chances are you've probably been to one. You might have even had some of your best memories there. But what if everything isn't what it seems? If it wasn't made obvious enough, then for our ethical dilemma, we're doing zoos. And sometimes you can't always trust what you think you know. So here are some facts on why we're against it. Firstly would be the living conditions of the animals in most zoos. And it's usually fine for animals in popular zoos. But remember, there are millions of zoos all over the world. And could you really name three popular ones off the top of your head? And in smaller zoos, the living conditions aren't that great. Also, most zoos don't even really help endangered species. Instead of breeding them and then setting them free into the wild, they usually just get sold to other zoos. And finally, in the end, what do zoos actually teach you? The point of zoos are to be a learning experience, but you don't actually learn anything. So, what's your favorite part of going to the zoo? My favorite thing about the zoo is looking at the baby lions because they're adorable, right? Right. Whenever you go to zoos, are you aware of the living conditions of the animals or do you really worry about it? Um, I think the living conditions um, are really like not good for the animals because they belong in the wild and I don't understand why they have to be in zoos to show off to people. Like they should just get to be free whenever they want to and they like I get if they're hurt they go to a zoo but then you train them and bring them back to the wild and that's what I think it should be. Do you actually learn anything from zoos that other things like documentaries or books could teach you? In the end, do you really think it's worth taking animals out of their natural habitats? Well, the only purpose for textbooks is for people to learn about animals. The only thing that you can learn from actually going to a zoo is to know that it's okay to keep animals in captivity. Bored, cramped, lonely, and very far away from home. And I don't think that's okay. Do you learn anything when you go to zoos? No, I don't really learn anything from zoos because there's not much to learn. It's more just viewing. In the end, do you think zoos are dangerous for animals? Well, in the end, zoos are typically just prison cells that leave animals with no way to defend themselves. Even if the zoo takes the animal out of the zoo, how will they know how to defend themselves during dangerous situations? We came up with our sculpture idea by really wanting to show our opinions from the animal's point of view. Like to show how he's scared and how he sees humans and how probably terrifying we are to them. And on the other side, we wanted to make it more like happy, like it was his former home that he got taken away from. and. He's looking back at it, trying to remember it, and it's filled with all different types of trees and plants and other animals that are all different happier colors. I chose to build these humans like this as like slender bodies, kind of like Slenderman, kind of scary, kind of, where their hands reach out to touch the fox and the fox is scared of them.
I'm gonna talk about the reason why I put glue on the cotton balls. It's for to make it an eerie look, so it's more scary as this is the fox's perception of what humans are like and why they keep them in a cage.